name is Mark Navarro, and today I would like to talk about Apache Skywalking, which is an open source holistic application performance monitoring and observability tool. Let's start. First of all, today I will talk about what Skywalking is, the architecture it's based on with the design goals and components, and then I will do a demo showcase about Skywalking to show you all the features it has metrics, traces, topology, on-demand logs, EVPS-based interactive profiling, and many other more features. So what is Skywalking? Skywalking is an application performance monitoring and observability platform for distributed system, especially designed for microservices that can run inside the service mesh or outside the service mesh. Skywalking has many features, like metric analysis for service, service instance, and endpoints, you can do root cause analysis by profiling your code at runtime. Also, you can have a service topology map, which will show you all your services that are being observed. Also, you can have service, service instance, and endpoint dependencies analysis. And based on those analyses, you can detect slow services and slow endpoints. Also, um, Skywalking gives you database metrics out of the box for observed um, databases, which will allow you to detect slow qu queries, including the, the slow SQL statements that causes this query to run slow. Skywalking also has distributed tracing and context propagation. So it's service mesh ready, so you can observe your service mesh. Um, basically, you can observe Istio which works with Envoy proxies. You can observe your serverless um, functions. You can analyze logs and visualize um, logs on demand, which is a zero cost logs solution, which basically allows you to view your logs um, straight from your container without storing them in, in Skywalking. EVPS paper interactive profiling is also available in Skywalking as well as alarms. Now let's talk a bit about Skywalking's architecture. Skywalking, it's based on Proof, um, a platform backend, storage, and UI. Proofs collects the telemetry data, which includes metrics, traces, and logs. It can support various different formats, like Skywalking native format, Zipkin, or open telemetry, among others. The platform backend, it's basically there for aggregating all the ingested data analyze it in a stream-based fashion. The backend can work as an aggregator, as a receiver, or both at the same time. Skywalking supports different storage options like Elasticsearch or BanyanDB, which is a, a custom-made observability database, which is currently being developed by the Skywalking team. And the UI, which is basically a web based interface that allows you to digest and see all the metrics that Skywalking collected and analyzed. Now let's talk a bit about the principal design goals of Skywalking. Skywalking should make it easy to observe runtime system regardless of the deployment methodology. You can observe bare metal services, services running on VMs, container, or serverless functions. Traces metrics and the topology should work all together in the same way. Topology helps you to understand the distributed systems. Metrics gives you a detailed aggregated insight at service, service instance, or endpoint level. And the traces correlate it all together and makes sense of those metrics and the interactions between services given a request. Skywalking should be lightweight. Proof, which gathers and and the collection of metrics should be as small as possible. Skywalking backend core system is built with a custom lightweight framework. There is no need to deploy any big data platform to analyze or visualize your collected metrics. Skywalking tech stack should be simple as possible. Skywalking platform can be extended thanks to its plugability. You can ingest many different sources of metrics and stored in, in many different storage platforms. Portability. Skywalking should run in any environment. You can use service meshes, cloud service solutions, and you can run even across 
cloud deployments. Skywalking should be interoperable. It should support many different systems and it can operate seamlessly with different open source systems like Zipkin, Jigger, Open Tracing, Open Census, and Open Telemetry. Skywalking can accept and read data from many different sources, and it doesn't require you to switch any library to collect those metrics or traces. If you want to know more about the design goals, please check the Apache Skywalking official site or read the following blog post, Observability at Scale. Now let's talk a bit about the components that builds the Skywalking platform. Skywalking, it's based on a backend called Observability Analysis Platform, OAP, and a UI. The backend basically powers all areas of observability, including tracing, metrics, loggings, and alerting. The backend can be deployed in a single node mode or in a cluster mode with different topologies, which allows you to scale the different backends independently. You can also deploy Skywalking on Kubernetes very easily. And very recently, Skywalking released its new version 9, which includes a completely new created UI, which is called Booster. Skywalking proofs. In Skywalking, a proof means an agent or an SDK that is in charge of collecting all the metrics. There are several types of proofs. Um, we have language-based native agents, service mesh proofs, and third-party instrument libraries. Language-based agents are runtime agents that can be injected into your applications, which will gather all the metrics, traces, and logs from them. Services mesh proofs allows you to collect data from sidecars or control planes in service meshes. And third-party instrumentations library are libraries like Zipkin or Prometheus that ships the traces and metrics. And those formats are natively um, compatible and accepted by Skywalking. Let's talk a bit more about language-based agents. We have Java, we have the Java agent, which provides you native tracing metrics and logging and events abilities for your Java projects. And you can configure the Java agent with different plugins that will give you more detailed and fine grade metrics about the, the service, the, the service that you are using, the HTTP clients or different JDBC drivers. There is also an Nginx Lua agent, which provides native tracing capabilities in Nginx. Then we have the client JavaScript agent, with this, which is a lightweight JavaScript library, which collects exceptions and traces, and it can be embedded in your client-side applications. Basically, it allows you to start tracing from the client side and correlate it with all your services that are running in your backend. More language-based agents. Skywalking has also the Skywalking satellite, which is designed to make Skywalking scale easily in cloud native infrastructure. It acts as, as an intermediate between the language-based agents and the Skywalking backend. And it basically collects all the traces and metrics, pre-processes them and ships them over to Skywalking, um, allowing them to, to scale Skywalking as needed as your request rate grows. Kubernetes Event Exporter is able to watch, filter, and send Kubernetes events. Then, once those events are ingested in Skywalking, you can have an overview about how the metrics are affected by those events that Kubernetes emitted. Like, for instance, if a pod scales down or up, it maybe it reflects in some downtime in your um, in your response time or in your success rate. Skywalking Rover. It's a metrics collector and eVPS-based profiler, which is used by Skywalking to collect all the eVPS-based metrics and traces. Skywalking has also its own um, database, which is called PanionDB, which its main aims is to ingest, analyze, and store metrics, as well as tracing and logging data all inside the same database. Skywalking has some operational tools. 
like the Skywalking CLI tool, which allows you to basically interact with Skywalking and retrieve the queries from the command line instead of from the UI. It uses the same GraphQL query protocol as the UI. Skywalking Cloud with Kubernetes is a bridge project between Apache Skywalking and Kubernetes. Basically, it allows you to provision, upgrade, and maintain all Skywalking relevant components and make them work natively inside Kubernetes. Main features are a Java agent injector, which basically injects the Java agent into an application pod natively. The operator is responsible for provisioning and maintaining Skywalking backend components. And then we have the custom metrics adapter, which provides custom metrics that come from Skywalking OEP cluster and allows it to scale horizontally automatically. Finally, we have Kubernetes Helm, which is a repository that provides ways to install and configure Skywalking in a Kubernetes cluster. More components. Let's talk about Skywalking protocols. Skywalking has mainly two protocols, which is the data collection protocol and the query protocol. The data collection protocol specifies how data is collected for different traces, metrics, logs, and commands that the agents may use. And the query, the query protocol defines the communication protocol in the query stage. It's used by the web page as well as by the CLI tool to, to gather um, traces, metrics, and logs from Skywalking backend and show them in the UI or in the CLI or in your terminal. Now I would like to show you um, the demo showcase, which Skywalking has created, and it's um, and you can find and you can find it here in the showcase application repository. And the showcase basically includes an example music application, which is deployed on our Kubernetes cluster. Um, the showcase also includes um, the Skyway, the Skywalking deployment itself, which is deployed in a cluster mode with two nodes. And uh, it also deploys the booster UI as well as the Elasticsearch as a, as a storage engine. The showcase also um, shows the features about SERP observability, uh, virtual machines observability, and Kubernetes monitoring. Skywalking can also take advantage of um, events, like for instance, Kubernetes events. Those events are exported and ingested into Skywalking and in that particular showcase, what we do is we downscale and upscale certain pods. So when they are downscaled, they generate certain events and we can correlate maybe some performance issues because of the downscaling of certain pods. Uh, showcase, the, the demo showcase also allows you optionally to enable different features. And in the showcase that I will show you, they're all enabled like um, mesh-based observabil observability, for the sidecars and the control plane itself, like Istio monitoring. This is what I mean by control plane observability. And you can also observe serverless functions. Um, this feature was manually installed on demo skywalking apache.org and it's not available on the showcase repository. All right, the demo showcase um, deploys a music application, which is based on several microservices, which are written in different programming languages. Like the UI is in React, the application service is in Node.js, which interacts with the recommendation service and the song service through a gateway, um, which is a Spring Cloud gateway. Um, the song service itself uses an in-memory database, which can also be observed and we can gather metrics and slow statements from it. So let's move over and let me show you a bit um, all the functionalities that Skywalking has. Um, first of all, when you land on Skywalking, you can see at the left side that you can um, access to the different dashboards available for the different layers that you are observing. General services are um, agent-based observed services. Then you can um, look at services from the inside the service mesh and you can see as well um, metrics for the control plane and data plane. You can observe serverless functions. You can have all the metrics from your Kubernetes cluster, as well as the raw metrics from your infrastructure. You can also see um, browser client side generated metrics, traces, and logs, as well as database metrics and SQL statements. And finally, 
um, you can have self-observability for skywalking as well as alerting. Let's start, first of all, with um, skywalking topology analysis. Based on the traces metrics that are shipped to skywalking, uh, skywalking analyzes all those metrics and traces and generates this topology map, which shows you all the services that are being observed and the interactions between them, which service is calling which other service. As you can see here, agent application is in red because it has a low success rate of 66%, okay? Here, we could then look into it and we can observe that, that service and inspect it from, uh, from the service dashboard, the service instance dashboard or the endpoint dashboard, okay? Um, observing the, dash, the service dashboard will guide us and tell us where the problem might be, why we have a low success rate. So let's start with the service metrics. Once you click on, on a service, it will guide you to the service, to the, to the general service dashboard, where you can see several metrics, like the service uptake index, the success rate, or the calls per minute. Um, in addition to all those um, general metrics, you can see the average response time over time, the response time percentiles, and the calls per minute over time, as well as you can see um, the how many calls each of the service instance are handling, which of them are the slowest one, the success rates of each of them. And if you take a closer look at the success rate from the global service point of view, we can see that the test endpoint has a very low um, success rate of zero percent. Probably here might be the problem of our 66% success rate. Then, um, as well as, as the general service overview, you can look at the service for each of the individual instance you have deployed over time. If you click on one of them, you will go to the service instance dashboard and you will see concrete metrics for that concrete instance, like the calls per minute, the success rate over time, or the latency. Moreover, for each of the services you have, application, songs, and so on, that we have deployed in the showcase, you can have individual metrics for each of the endpoints that this service is, is, is handling, like test, home page, and the general good home um, endpoint. As you can see in this quick overview, um, the test endpoint has a very low success rate, zero percent. If we click on it, we can see um, more fine grade um, metrics about that concrete endpoint from that given service. As before, we can see the cost per minute, the average response time, and the percentiles of the response times. Also, if we have a Java based, um, Java agent based observed application, we can have more insights um, and metrics that are shipped from the Java virtual machine, like the CPU usage, memory usage the garbage collection time, garbage collection time, as well as the thread count and many other um, statistics. Those are the general dashboards that you have available for a service, service instance and endpoint. Now let's take a look at the logs. Um, certain services, when they are instrumented using uh, an agent, um, they can also ship the, the log statements straight on into Skywalking, which makes them available and persistent for a certain amount of time. And then you can query them from the logs tab and see all the information about all the logs that you have shipped to Skywalking. Traces are one of the main functionalities that allows you to correlate errors. And given a concrete service, or the general trace overview, you can select the service that you want, the instance or the endpoint that you want, and you can see at a glance all the traces that have been collected. Um, a trace um, basically um, correlates all the interactions between the different services. So for instance, to, to reply to the homepage request, you can see that all those services have been involved to generate the response. And here you can see the correlations of calls where the application 
um, service calls the agent gateway, which in turn calls the agent songs and the agent's recommendations service. Uh, besides the correlations of calls, you can also see how much time in each service is spent. Here, I've sort the traces by start time, and you can see the latest tra traces that have been collected, like the homepage, the, the general route endpoint, and the test endpoint, which is showed in red because it's a, it's a failed trace. For a given failed trace or with an error, we can see that the, the, the trace basically end here. And if we click on it, we can have more information from the span that was collected. And here we can see that basically that endpoint returned a 404. So that endpoint doesn't exist. We have tweaked it um, on purpose to generate some errors. As well as if you click on related logs, you can see all the logs generated and captured by this concrete service if, we, if that service ships the logs to, to Skywalky. Now let's move over to mesh observability, where um, under the mesh observability tab, we can see all the related metrics that are captured using the Envoy access logs. Each service has an Envoy sidecar deployed along each service, which emits Envoy access logs. Those access logs are um, analyzed by scaling walking. And by analyzing them, you can have the topology map, as well as all the different metrics that we have available in the general services. If we click on one of those services, um, oh, sorry, first of all, here um, in the link that you have available here, it directly it, it, it drives you to that page where it explains how ALS analysis works. Now, if we go back and we click on a particular service, we can see um, all the metrics that are generated um, by analyzing those access logs. Um, and in the same way that, that a, a general service, which is based on an, an agent, we can have we have all the same metrics available, success rate, update index, and calls per minute. Also, um, service-based, uh, service mesh-based services um, allows you to extract um, the logs from the containers, from each of the containers that are part of the mesh. In this concrete example, I took the recommendations deployment and selected the container, the recommendation container, which is the application itself. And if you click on start, um, Skywalking will fetch the container logs and, sh and display them here in, in the UI. Those logs are not stored. They, 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 they fly directly from the container into your UI through Skywalking. This allows you to have a zero cost logs solution. Um, for service mesh observability, you can also observe the control plane. In this case, um, we are observing Istio control plane. Here, if you follow that link, we can see it explains you how uh, the control plane is observed. Once you click on, on the control plane that you want to observe, you can see different um, related um, metrics, which Istio version, how many Istio versions you are running, how much memory it's using, how much CPUs, how many go routines, Istio spawns, as well as, for instance, um, how many configurations pilot, which is a component of the control plane, it's pushing to each of the Envoy's sidecars. Like, for instance, cluster discovery services, endpoint discovery services, listener discovery services, or uh, routes discovery services. All those configurations are pushed to, to each of the envoys. And here you can see how many times each of those different configurations are pushed. And this dashboard is useful to pinpoint where the problem might be. Maybe your problem is not in your service itself and maybe um, Istio is misbehaving in, in some way. Those dashboards um, can, can help you to, to figure out where the problem might be. Um, then we can observe also the mesh from the data plane perspective. In this case, um, it shows you different service instances for all the data plane deployed services. For, for um, In this particular case, 
I'm showing you the application service. And here you can see at a glance all the key metrics of the Envoy sidecar that it's being deployed in, um, along that service. Here you can see how many connections it uses, how many worker threads that Envoy is using, or how many bug failures or failures it's Envoy causing. Um, if you click on one of the, those instances, you can have more fine grade overview over time about um, the metrics that Envoy is, is shipping to Skywalking. In the same way, um, in order to analyze um, service bash maze traffic, we use um, Envoy access logs. If you click on Envoy log, you can see those access logs that are being shipped to Skywalking and which are used to analyze and generate topology and metrics. And finally, you can also enable on-demand logs for the Envoy proxy itself. Here, for a given service and instance, I can select which container. In this case, I want to take a look at the Istio proxy, which is the Envoy proxy. And if you click on Start, you can see all the logs that this Envoy instance is um, emitting. Um, by default, it shows you as well the access logs in from the from the log from 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 the container from the logs in the container. But if there is any error um, in in Envoy, you will see it here, and you will see the error log here as well, which is very helpful. Finally, if we move over um, now, I would like to quickly show you um, server serverless observability. So for uh, functions as a service um, observability, you can see all of your instrumented functions at a glance. And if you click in one of them, you can have concrete metrics for um, each of those con um, concrete um, functions, as well as concrete instance executions of a functions and the topology of all your functions that are interacting among them. Now let's um, take a look at the Kubernetes observability that Skywalking gives us. And if we take a look at the Kubernetes um, tab, we can see all the clusters that um, Kubernetes that, that we are observing. In concrete, in our showcase, we just have one Kubernetes cluster. And here at a glance, we can see how many nodes our cluster is made of, how many namespaces we have, deployment services, and how many pods over time. If we click on one of those clusters, um, ah, by the way, um, the um, Kubernetes monitor monitoring is achieved by using cube state metrics as well as C advisors. Those metrics are then collected by the Open Telemetry connector and shipped over to the Open Telemetry receiver plugin, let's say, in, in Skywalking and analyzed by the Metro system. Uh, by the way, this information is available if you click on that link here. Um, once you click on a concrete cluster, you can have a general overview of the different metrics that um, Kubernetes provide us. As I said before, the number of, of namespaces, but you can also have concrete insights about the CPU resources that are being used, memory resources, and storage. Also, you can see um, the, stat the status of your nodes, as well as the different events that Kubernetes uh, emitted while the deployments are scaled up and down or the metrica, the, the replicas are, are increased or decreased. Um, also, you can have concrete uh, service metric instance and cluster-based, concrete cluster-based metric instance that I've showed you. For the metrics instances, if you click on our concrete metrics, you will see um, for each of those um, services that have been deployed in your Kubernetes cluster, you can see at a glance how many pods you are running, how many um, CPUs, uh, which is the CPU request and CPU limits that are being configured. If you click on a concrete uh, cluster, as I showed before, you can see uh, more metrics for a concrete um, cluster and instance. Uh, a node in this case. This is a concrete node. Uh, as our node is made of two clusters of two nodes, as, as our cluster is made of two nodes, we can see 
the metrics for each of the individual nodes. And sorry, and again, if um, if you click at a concrete uh, service, um, it will show you the concrete um, metrics that are um, captured at the Kubernetes layer. So for a given Kubernetes service, you can see how many pods are deployed, as well as different statistics um, metrics about uh, memory, CPU, and as well as um, some events are also being displayed here, like um, pod restarts or the statuses of each of the of your pods. Skywalking also gives you access to infrastructure metrics. In this case, as we have a, a Kubernetes deployment, you can have access to the raw metrics of, of each of those clusters. And if you follow that link, you can see how those metrics are gathered and then shipped over to Elasticsearch. And if you click on, a, on one of these concrete um, machines, you can have um, a detailed insight about the memory usage, CPU usage, um, file system usage, discrete rights of your physical server. Skywalking also allows you to observe client-side based application, which runs in the browser using the Skywalking client uh, JavaScript library. Here, um, if you click on the browser, you have the, you will see all your instrumented applications or browser-based application. And if you click on one of them, you will have a general overview, um, which will tell you how many calls per minute that application is handling, as well as the error count. Um, the browser-based observability, it's very useful um, to detect where the latency problems might be, if they are on the server side or on the client side. And sometimes, um, the server can respond very quickly, but the problem is on the client side by um, on rendering those responses and so on. Um, for a, a browser-based application that it's being observed, you have also available all the applications that this um, web page or this web applications is, is serving, all the pages, okay? In this case, we can see um, how many times that endpoint or that web page is being called and which is the error rate. And if we click on it, we have um, client side fine grained detailed metrics like FPT or the page load latency as well as errors that are generated on the client side and so on. This is the same here. Um, for um, browser-based applications that are instrumented, you can also see um, all the traces that are being generated inside that application, and that are and you can see basically all the correlation and all the calls through all the services. And finally, um, you can also see the logs that are being generated on the client side itself. Now let's take a look at the available database dashboards. Um, for agent-based applications, um, if you enable some plugins, you will be able to gather metrics for the databases that those Java based Java agent based application or Python based application are, are using. Um, those databases that are being targeted um, can be then found here under the virtual services tab. And if you click in one of them, you can see the response time, the success rate, and as well as each of the slowest um, statements that have been executed against this database uh, against this database. Uh, finally, I would like to quickly show you um, Apache's, um, Apache Skywalking Surf Observability. And in this case, um, Skywalking it's the, um, has deployed two backend nodes, two OAPs backends, okay? And here we can see each, each of them. And if we click in each of them, we can see the relevant metrics. Um, like for instance, CPU, memory, garbage collection count, but as well as um, concrete um, operational metrics for skywalking. Like for instance, how many traces are analyzed 
or what's the latency for analyzing those metrics, as well as how many mesh mesh based analysis have been executed. And um, or for all of those analyses, there are certain um, metrics that are being generated and aggregated over time. And here you can see how many metrics are aggregated um, over time based on those analyses that I've showed you here. All right, this is more or less a general overview about all the features that Skywalking has. Um, if you want to know more about Skywalking, please check out the Skywalking page or read um, any of the following blog posts that, are, that I suggest here, which have very interesting contents about how to, how to scale Skywalking, how to observe at scale using Skywalking, or how to pinpoint um, critical performance issues thanks to EVPF profiling. In this blog post, for instance, you can see how um, we, we profiled using EVPF, the Envoy proxy, and how we found out that by disabling certain features like 100% um, tracing or by simplifying the, the ALS logs entry that you saw before in the Envoy logs, how to, by simplifying it, you can increase the performance of your Envoy proxy. Well, that's all. Thanks for listening and hope that you learn something about skywalking and I encourage you to use skywalking or at least play with it a bit and see how it can help you to pinpoint and troubleshoot problems in your infrastructure. Thanks.